Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2008 Acura MDX with a 3.7 liter. The customer complaint on this vehicle is the ABS light remains on while the vehicle is driven down the road. The customer also stated that there are other lights that are on on the dash, including the check engine light. I was able to confirm the customer's complaint while I drove the vehicle inside the shop. The dashboard on this vehicle looks like a Christmas tree. All the lights are on. Pretty much most lights are on on the dash. So now let's go inside the vehicle and confirm the customer's complaint. I'm going to start the engine so we can confirm the customer's complaint. So right there, as you can hear, the engine is running and look at the dash. We have a bunch of lights that are remaining on while the engine is running. Okay, so we got this check VSA system light over here on this display. We have the check emission system. So this is what's causing the check engine light to remain on. We have a bunch of lights on on the dash. We got the check ABS system light on. So ABS light is on, check engine light is on, this SH AWD light is also on. The VSA light is also on. As you can see, this dashboard looks like a Christmas tree. Okay, so a bunch of lights on on the dash. So customer's complaint confirmed. So now I'm going to turn off the engine. I'm going to turn the key on. I'm going to get the scan tool connected to the vehicle and then I'll bring you guys back up so we can scan the control units on the vehicle. I got the scan tool connected to the vehicle. So let's see what we got. So we're gonna go to scanner. So right there, the scan tool has identified the vehicle, 2008 Acura MDX with a 3.7. So everything looks good. Let's click OK. So let's do a code scan. This is gonna scan all the modules on the vehicle. We have two trouble codes in the engine computer. The first one is P0133, air fuel sensor bank one, sensor one, malfunction slow response. And then the second one is P0134, rear air fuel ratio sensor, here circuit malfunction. So this first trouble code is what's causing the second one to be set as well. And this sounds like we have a defective air fuel ratio sensor. If the hearer inside the sensor is defective, it's gonna cause the sensor, the air fuel ratio sensor, to respond slowly, okay? So when we're done checking what's causing the ABS light to remain on while the engine is running, we're gonna come back to the engine computer and fix these codes. I'm pretty sure this is gonna need a sensor. After checking the wiring, if the wiring is good, we're gonna replace the sensor. And usually when I see a hero code after this one, the problem ends up being the sensor. So we have zero codes in the transmission control unit. We have one code in the tire pressure control unit and we have three trouble codes in the ABS control unit. The first one is left front wheel speed sensor open circuit. The second one is steering angle sensor failure. And the third one is left front wheel speed sensor failure. So it looks like the left front sensor is not working or something is probably wrong in that circuit. It's either a circuit problem or a sensor problem. Now, I was told that the sensor was replaced. The owner told me that they had replaced both front sensors in attempt to fixing this problem. So we have to keep that in the back of our minds. The front sensors were replaced at some point. And then the other trouble code is steering angle sensor failure. So something wrong with either the sensor or the sensor circuit. Now let's just scroll down and see what are the trouble codes we have in the other modules. So this module over here, it says gauges all body 
electrical codes. So this looks like the BCM or maybe the cluster control unit and it has a bunch of trouble codes. It has six trouble codes. Okay. Door locks, all body electrical codes, also six. I believe this one is just the first one here. So this one is most likely this one as well. Honda information platform. Well, this thing has a bunch of trouble codes, okay? Pretty much every module has a trouble code. Interesting. And then on the generic side, we have the same trouble codes. P0133 and P0135, okay? About the O2 sensor not responding fast enough. So that's good. I'm gonna focus on the ABS control unit first. So we're gonna go into the ABS control unit. Okay, so we're gonna click on ABS. Right there, we have our trouble codes. So now the next step is gonna be looking at live data. Okay, let's back out and let's go to data display. I wanna graph the wheel speed sensor data pids and the steering angle data pid. So here is our data list. So we're gonna customize this list. Okay, now we're just gonna grab the wheel speed sensor data and also the steering, steering angle data pid. Okay, so that's all. I also wanna look at the yaw rate sensor data pid. So let's list this. I'm gonna graph all the wheel speed sensor data pids. So right now, as you can see, we are reading zero, zero, okay? Zero miles per hour on all the sensors, which is good. And the steering angle is at minus 357 degrees. I mean, which is not right because the steering angle, the steering wheel is close to straight. So now I'm gonna start the engine. So the engine is running and the steering wheel is straight, but look at this. The steering angle is minus 364. I mean, as far as I know, it should be at zero, zero if everything was good. So it looks like this sensor is either defective or it needs to be calibrated. And the yaw rate is showing minus two okay anyways so now let's drive this i'm gonna drive outside of the shop we're gonna drive around and we're gonna watch these graphs and see which sensors will update and which sensors will not so as we're driving down the road we need to see some activity on these graphs over here okay so now let's drive let's confirm the sensor not working so we're gonna drive out of the shop. All right, so I'm driving. I'm gonna show you the scan tool. So right there, as you can see, only three sensors are updating, okay? but the left front is not working, okay? So let's drive back to the shop so we can talk about our next step. All right, so we are back at the shop. Uh, the steering wheel is straight. Now I'm gonna bring up our scan tool so we can analyze the data. So right here, as you can see, these sensors are working, but the left front wheel speed sensor is not working, okay? So let me pause this. Okay, and as you can see, pretty much all these graphs mirror each other, okay? So which is good, which tells me that these wheels were all spinning at the same speed, 
So these sensors are working. I want to show you this graph over over here. The uh, steering the steering wheel angle data. So right now with the steering wheel being pretty much straight, so we are reading minus 369 degrees on this steering angle data pad. And our yaw rate sensor is showing minus two. So something is off here. So let's stay focused on the wheel speed sensors first, okay? And then we will worry about the steering angle code afterwards. So let's focus on this. I'm gonna put the vehicle back on the lift and then we're gonna inspect the left front wheel speed sensor. We're gonna look at the wiring and make sure the wiring is good. If the wiring is good, we're gonna use this sensor over here on the right, the right front sensor, to test the wiring of this sensor. So I'm gonna bypass this sensor with this sensor over here. So the sensor on the left will be bypassed by the sensor on the right, okay? So now let's put this vehicle on the lift and inspect the sensor wiring. So let's go under the vehicle and do a visual inspection first. All right, so I got the vehicle up in the air. The key is still on inside the vehicle. So let's inspect the wiring harness on the left front wheel. So here is the wiring harness of the wheel speed sensor. And as you can see, this over here looks stepped up so it looks like someone had been here okay so that's the wire of the sensor so now let's go to the right front wheel so over here so the harness on this side doesn't look tipped up and again this was working so we're gonna stay over here on the left front okay so I'm going to disconnect this okay I got the harness disconnected let me see if I can open up this wiring because it looks like someone did tip this up so I'm gonna open this up let's open up this tape over here Alright, so here guys, so it looks like someone tipped this up and look at what I found. <laughs> there are two wires connected to this one wire. What the heck is this? Actually, let me open this up even further more. So check this out. This is a problem guys. It looks like someone did some wiring repair over here and it looks like they did a crappy job because this over here doesn't look good at all look at this we have three wires over here and this doesn't look right because this wire over here should just have one wire I don't know what they're splicing into this wire so we have a red wire here a gray wire and an orange wire so now what i want to do is i want to test this sensor first i want to make sure that the sensor works so i'm going to reconnect this okay i'm going to grab my lab scope test leads i'm going to back probe these two wires over here at the connector and then i'll bring you guys back up so we can test the sensor after we test the sensor, then we're gonna look at the wiring diagram to find our correct wires, okay? So now let's do that. I'm gonna get these wires back probed and then I'll bring you guys back up. So I back probed the two wires at the sensor connector. So now I'm gonna spin the wheel. As I'm spinning the wheel, I'm gonna show you the lab scope screen let's see what happens so I'm spinning the wheel right now nothing is happening so I guess we have to erase the trouble codes so let's clear the codes and see what's gonna happen so let's go to let's read the codes again left front 
with a speed sensor open circuit. <laughs> Why is it saying open circuit while we have it connected? I mean, the sensor is connected. Okay, so we have this code. Now let's back out. What I want to do is I can actually, I can bypass this sensor with the test light. Actually, before I do that, let me do the same test on the right side first. We know the right side is working. Let's do the same test on the right side and see what happens. So I'm gonna disconnect these test leads. Okay, I'm gonna remove them. So now, let's bring this over here. Okay. So now we're back probing the side that's working. So the right side. So I got both wires back probed. So now let's look at the lab scope screen. So let's go to lab scope. Okay, I see a change guys. So this one, let's see. So we are reading negative nine. I hope you guys can see that. So my test leads are backwards. So we just gotta swap them. Okay, so with the key on, engine off, we should have voltage over here, which we don't have on the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna spin the wheel. So as you can see, as I'm spinning the wheel, we have a square wave on the lab scope screen, so that's good. This is what we're supposed to have on the left side. So I'm gonna disconnect this. Let's go back to the left side. Okay. So now I know what we are supposed to have. So let's come back here. Now, we could have a wiring problem or an open sensor because we have, let me reconnect this. And I'm gonna try to erase the trouble code again. So let's clear the code. So let's read the codes again. So left front wheel speed sensor open circuit. All right. So now what we need to do is I'm gonna grab a test light. I have a small test light here that I can use to bypass this sensor all right guys so i back probed these two wires and i'm using this bulb over here as a load in the circuit so this bulb is probably too big but let's see if it's gonna work so i'm going to erase the trouble codes let's clear the codes and see what happens so i erased the code so the same trouble code is still set in memory all right so we could have an open somewhere here or somewhere along the wiring so at this point i'm going to take you guys with me to the computer so we can look at the wiring diagram of this abs system so now let's look at the wiring diagram and see which wire is supposed to be on this connector because we can't have three wires on the sensor. So now let's look at the wiring diagram and see what we're gonna find. Here is the wiring diagram of the ABS system. So we're gonna find the left front wheel speed sensor on this wiring diagram. So here is the left front wheel speed. So as you can see, it says gray and orange. So the gray and orange wire are the wires that go to the sensor and if we follow these two wires you see that they go to the abs control unit so i'm going to highlight these wires and let's see so if we follow these two wires that are highlighted so this one goes to the computer 
so gray one and then the other one over here the orange one also goes to the ABS control unit okay the red the other red wire that we have at that connector is not supposed to be there okay so now let's go to the wires at the electrical connector of the sensor and disconnect that red wire the, the third red wire that we have over here and then we're gonna use our multimeter to see if we're gonna have any voltage at the electrical connector of the sensor so now let's go to the car and check that all right so I removed the electric tape over here look at what I found so this wire this red wire was taped to this gray wire okay so I'm gonna remove this so I got this wire disconnected so I cut it off I don't know where this wire is going so someone had spliced this red wire on the gray wire that comes from the ABS control unit okay so now I'm gonna reconnect the electrical connector on the sensor Okay, so these are the two wires that are coming from the ABS control unit. So now, let's go to the scan tool and see what we're gonna find. So let's read the codes. As you can see, our left front wheel speed code is still there. So I'm gonna back out. Let's try to clear the codes and see what happens. So let's try to read the code. So no fault codes. Hmm. Interesting. So is this fixed? Okay, well, I just disconnected that red wire over there. And now the left front wheel speed sensor trouble code is no longer being set in memory. So I'm gonna back probe these wires Let's back probe them and see if we're gonna now have a signal at this wiring electrical connector. So now let's use our lab scope. What? All right, so now let's reconnect these to the wiring over here we're gonna connect our scope test leads to the wiring and see what happens okay so we got our wires at the sensor back probed so now let's look at the lab scope screen so as you can see we now have voltage at the lab scope on this side so now I'm gonna spin the wheel and as I spin the wheel you can see we now have a square wave so this is good guys this is fixed so what fixed it was disconnecting this I mean I didn't change anything so whatever this wire is connected to was pulling the voltage that the computer is sending to ground okay so someone spliced this wire on the gray wire of the sensor okay on the harness side and this was pulling the voltage to ground but right now we have about 11 volts I believe 11 volts here actually let's go to the uh, multimeter let's go to the digital mirror so as you can see we have about 11 volts right now so we are connected to the sensor electrical connector we have 11 volts okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to touch this red wire okay I'm gonna attach it to the gray wire like it was before okay so as I touch this 
I'm gonna have you guys focused on the mirror. So now I'm gonna touch on the gray wire. So right there, our voltage got pulled to ground. So here's what I did up here. Okay, so I just touched this red wire to the gray wire like it was before. So I'm touching this red wire to the gray wire and down here our voltage is now pulled to ground and if I go to the scanner you'll see that our code will be back so right there our left front left front wheel speed code is back so that wire whatever that wire is connected to it's pulling the voltage to ground so now to bring that voltage back, I'm gonna have to erase the code. We got the code erased. And let's go back to our mirror. So, hold on. Oh, it's still connected there, as you can see. We're still reading zero because the wire is still connected. So I'm gonna have to disconnect it. So once I remove this wire, okay, Let's get the wire removed the red wire disconnected from the gray wire so back here let's go to the scanner right now if we read the code our left front wheel speed code will be in memory so right there the code is there let's back out and let's clear this right now our code should be cleared So right there, no fault codes. If we go to our mirror, now we're gonna have about 11 volts. So right there, okay? So this is the problem, guys. This wire over here was pulling the voltage that the computer sends on this circuit to ground, okay? And that's how the computer knows that there's an open or a problem in the circuit. So the computer sends the voltage, it sends that 11 volt down the sensor circuit and then the sensor pulls it to ground so when the wheel spins the sensor pulls it to ground to create the square wave that we saw okay so basically let's back out of here let's go back to our lab scope so this voltage is coming from the computer okay because the two wires on the sensor wiring are coming from the computer. So the computer sends this voltage down to the sensor and then as the wheel spins, the sensor pulls this voltage to ground. So as I spin the wheel, as you can see, I'm spinning this. Okay, we have a little square wave there. And the faster the wheel spins, okay, the faster the wheel spins, the higher the frequency of that square wave okay so now what I want to do is I want to follow this wire okay I want to follow this red wire and find out where this wire goes because at this point we are fixed okay so now I'm gonna disconnect these test leads okay the sensor is reconnected I'm gonna have to fix this wire and tape it up later on but for now i'm just gonna leave it like that so now i'm gonna lower the vehicle i erased the trouble codes the code is no longer coming back i'm gonna start the engine to see if our abs light will be off on the dash and after we confirm that the abs light is off we're gonna go under the hood and trace down this wire to see where this wire goes so now let's lower the vehicle all right so i got the vehicle down so now let's go inside the vehicle and start the engine to see if our ABS light will be off while the engine is running. So let's see what we got. So I'm gonna start the engine. So right there, bingo. What do you know? As you can see, we only have the check engine light on, the ABS light and those other lights that were on on the dash are now off so this is fixed guys that red wire that was connected to the gray wire is what was causing the problem so it was pulling the voltage that 
the ABS control unit sends to the sensor to ground. Okay, so now let's go under the hood and trace down the red wire to see where it goes. Okay, and after we do that, I'm gonna fix the wiring of the sensor. I'm gonna get the wiring fixed and then we will worry about this check engine light. So now let's go under the hood and track down that red wire. So I'm gonna turn off the engine. So now let's start this again. As you can see, ABS light is off, so we're good to go. We are here under the hood. The ABS control unit is below the air filter box, and it looks like the red wire that we saw at the sensor connector goes to the ABS control unit. So I cannot really see it from this angle. So we're gonna have to remove the air filter box so we can look around the ABS control unit to see where that red wire goes. So I'm gonna get this air filter box removed and then I'll bring you guys back up. So I got the air filter box removed and here is the red wire that goes down to the sensor. Okay, now I'm gonna pull it up. So here it is. And if we follow this wire, so it goes to this bolt over here. So someone basically wired this red wire from a straight ground because this bolt over here is bolted on the body of the vehicle, which is grounded. So if we follow this, I'm just gonna pull it out. So it's right here on this bolt, okay? I don't know why they did this, but this is unbelievable. So they were grounding the voltage that the ABS control unit was sending to the sensor, okay? So whoever did this, someone should smack them on the head because this is crazy. So I'm just gonna pull this out. So it was bolted to this bolt over here on one of the bolts of the ABS control unit bracket. Okay, so this is not needed. I don't know why they wired this. So let's go to the wiring diagram so I can show you again what they did. In case you have a question about this wire, about what they did, let's go to the wiring diagram so I can explain this a little bit more. So this is unbelievable. So here is our wiring diagram. This is what we were looking at earlier. So I'm going to find our left front wheel speed sensor. So here is our left front wheel speed sensor. So as you can see, we have an orange wire and a gray wire. So what someone did was they wired a different wire from ground. So basically they got ground, okay, on the chassis and they put a wire between this gray wire and the ground. So what that was doing was basically pulling the voltage that the ABS control unit was sending to the sensor. And when that voltage is pulled to ground, that's how the computer knows that there's a problem in the circuit of this sensor. I don't know why they wired another wire from ground to the gray wire of the sensor. I don't know, because this vehicle came from another shop. So the wires on the sensors are not externally grounded, okay? don't send ground to one of these wires okay these two wires over here go to the computer so don't don't ever do this guys don't splice the sensor wires to try to power another device or to try to do anything okay as you can see right over here on this wiring diagram these wires are supposed to go from the control unit straight to the sensor and they shouldn't power anything else so if you're trying to do some electrical modifications on your vehicles out there, just know what circuits you can tap into, okay? To share voltage with other devices. In this case, they were not trying to power another device, but they were sending ground, straight ground to this gray wire, which I still don't know why, okay? So that is what they did, and that is what was causing all these lights to be on on the dash and that is what was causing the sensor to not work. 
and I was told that they replaced all the sensors, so they most likely didn't need the sensors. The problem was whoever that wired this wire created a problem, okay? So now let's go back to the vehicle and put everything back together. I'm going to fix the wiring at the sensor, and this should be good to go. So now let's go back to the vehicle. So we are back here at the vehicle. So now I'm going to reinstall the air filter box. I'm going to put everything back together. And then I'm going to lift up the vehicle so I can fix the wiring at the sensor connector. After I fix the wiring, I'm going to leave this video over here here because it's getting late here. So I got to get out of here. I got to go home. I wanted to also test the O2 sensor. I'm pretty sure the heater in the sensor is defective. I wanted to test the O2 sensor to see if the hero circuit is good and if the hero circuit is good we're just going to replace the sensor but i'm not going to do that right now i'm tired i gotta go home i'm going to do that tomorrow okay i'm going to put the air filter box back on i'll fix the wiring and then i'll bring you guys back up i have reinstalled the air filter box so everything under the hood is back together so now let's raise the vehicle so we can fix the wiring at the sensor connector all right, so I'm back here under the vehicle. I'm gonna fix this wiring harness off camera and then I'll bring you guys back up. So I fixed the wiring of the sensor. So I taped it up really well and I put a wire loom around it. So now I'm gonna reconnect the sensor. So now the sensor is reconnected. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this zip tie up here so I can zip tie it up. So we're good to go. So now I'm gonna lower the vehicle. Let's lower the vehicle and test drive it, okay? It's late over here, so I will test drive this tomorrow. I will bring you guys back up tomorrow so we can test drive the vehicle. After we test drive the vehicle, we have to drive it to see if the ABS light will also remain off as we're driving down the road. After we do that, we're gonna come back to the shop and test the O2 sensor. If the wiring of the O2 sensor is good, then we're gonna go ahead and replace the O2 sensor.